Luke's learning video. In this video, we will discuss about the marriage tradition in Indonesia. One of them is Nangro Aceh Darussalam. Nangro Aceh Darussalam is one area that consists of multiple ethnicities. Every ethnicity has different customs, and this is a privilege and a part of Indonesian culture that must be maintained. One of the traditional events and cultural tradition in Aceh is a very sacred wedding ceremony. Marriage is a very sacred thing in the cultural tradition of Aceh, as it relates to religious values. Celebration of marriage has its own highly respected by the community. First wedding ceremony in Aceh began on the stage of selecting a maid, engagement until the wedding ceremony. There are three stages of proposing an Aceh girl. Those are Jak Kemalen, Jak Baranup, Jak Batanda. First, Jak Kemalen is the process of approaching and looking for the information of the bride to be. The man will ask his parents or family to look for some information about the girl and family. Then they will meet my, uh, the girl and family to know each other. And the second stage is Jakbaranu. It is the procession of proposing a marriage to the bride to be. Some of the family from the man will send some gifts to the girl family. If it is accepted, the two families will have a discussion about the marriage. The last is Jak Badanda. It is the procession of death dealing the marriage. The man family will bring some foods, a set of lapek tanda, its traditional clothing for a girl in Aceh, and jewelries. After that, they will consider the date the dowry, and how many invited guests for their marriage. But if the bond is broken in the middle of the road caused by the man who decided the gold mark will be considered lost. But if the cause is the woman is a gold mark registration must be written twice. Before the wedding was held, uh, the wedding usually three days and three nights held, a ceremony megacha for the groom and the bride uh, were held in their homes. During the ceremony, uh, it will be held the, in the evening performing arts such as dance rabana, saga, folk, martial arts, and mahaba. The highlight of the wedding will be led by Kadli that has been authorized by the bride's father with two witnesses in addition to the assembly. Then, Jinamai, or in English, called as Dori, is given. Then, marriage matrimony was held. After marriage matrimony completed, the groom was guided to the altar. There has been the bride set waiting. When the groom arriving altar, bride will stand up and honor him. During the wedding ceremony, the bride and groom to be guided by the grandmother or pengajo. Then the bride and groom eat in custom plate with a beautiful shape and large size. Furthermore, the two shake hands with the families of both parties followed by the neighbor. The family will greet the groom by offer the floor to the bride and vice versa. In addition, over the floor followed by attaching yellow sticky rice ear bride also give some money or call commented. This event is typically preceded by groom's mother, was followed by others in turn. After the wedding ceremony, the big family of groom requests permission to return to home. However, the groom usually do not come home yet. He will stay at the bride's home for one night. On the next early morning, he has to leave the bride's home. After the third or seventh day, the groom returned to bride's home to carry out the ceremony for her and Petuju. Finally, that's all. Thank you very much for watching and see you. Bye-bye.